STEM is an acronym that stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Careers in STEM require curious, creative people who like to move around, solve problems, and design machinery, equipment, tools, and other consumer products. These careers are team-oriented, allowing each participant to bring their special knowledge and talent to the project. Through our current business partnerships, the district is exploring the addition of two to four STEM courses for the 2015-16 school year. In order to grow this program in the future, appropriate facilities would need to be developed. Students are branching out. Their education no longer limits them to high school general education courses. Students can specialize in high school and even earn certificates that make them career ready when they leave high school. As an example, about 75 DeForest graduates earned certificates last year, including assistant child care teacher and certified nursing assistant. These certificates, like STEM programming, give students an edge on entering the workforce, technical programs, and college. We are already seeing a shortage of STEM qualified applicants for jobs across Wisconsin in both the public and private sector. And jobs available in STEM fields are expected to exceed the number of qualified applicants for the foreseeable future. STEM courses can be taught through agriculture and tech ed courses in addition to math and science. STEM truly is an interdisciplinary approach to learning important college and work ready skills. In DeForest, we've had a group of teachers and administrators at the secondary level looking into new courses and curriculum that align better with STEM. This group has agreed that courses offered through Project Lead the Way meet our needs now and into the future. Although often thought of as high school programming, STEM programs may be introduced at the middle school level and increasingly at the elementary level. STEM courses can be offered in partnership with science classes, mathematics classes, or through a separate STEM course of study. The three primary pathways offered through Project Lead the Way are Pathways to Engineering, Biomedical Sciences, and Computer Science and Software Engineering. Project Lead the Way has several high interest modules at the middle school level that explore aerospace, energy, the environment, modeling, robotics, and technology, and more are currently being developed. STEM courses typically involve lots of hands-on work and problem solving and may be offered in traditional classrooms. To get the most from Project Lead the Way curriculum into Forest, we are interested in expanding and updating our learning spaces. STEM courses, and specifically Project Lead the Way courses, align with four of the five top priorities identified by the DeForest Area Community at the most recent Framework for Our Future, held in February of 2014. Please take a moment to read through the results of Framework Current DASD facilities include traditional shop classes such as woodworking, metals, autos, and small engines at the high school. In addition, one classroom is dedicated to computer-aided design, also called CAD, and other multimedia and graphic arts. We could add additional space for STEM at the high school and remodel classroom space at the middle school for approximately $5 million. At the middle school, the traditional shop classroom is designed to focus on woodworking. Again, the costs presented are an estimate. The estimate is based on the potential addition of approximately 20,000 square feet onto the high school plus equipment costs. This would allocate space to the new STEM programs and relocate our current agri-science and shop programs. Again, we are working off estimates for programs that have been recently established in other districts and thinking about long-term solutions for space needs that currently exist in our district. The limited space in the current shop areas at the high school have not been touched since the building was constructed in the late 1960s. The exhaust systems and air handling units are original equipment. 
These units are still functional, but are occasionally turned off by teachers because of the noise level when speaking with students. Additional duct work has been added to meet welding exhaust codes. To wrap this up, the district is interested in developing and implementing modern curriculum that better helps students prepare for careers in STEM fields. In order to do this well, some of our facilities need to be expanded and renovated.